Hi, my name is Corey Goss. In this video, I'll be walking you through a quick introduction to the UVM Register Viewer. So the UVM methodology is great in that it allows for uh, users to construct their environments in a standardized way. And as a result, EDA tools can go in, interrogate those environments, and pull out useful information. So here we'll be walking through a brand new uh, feature that was introduced in the 12.2 release of SimVision, and it's called the UVM Register Viewer. So we'll be looking at how to launch that, how to navigate around through blocks and maps, how to analyze values as well as setting breakpoints, and navigating around through source, and, um, and also how to send registers out to the waveform. So let's now move over to the demo. So we'll be using the same demo environment we've used in previous uh, videos. Um, now, to launch the UVM register viewer, you can do this in a couple of different ways. Uh, first is on the Windows menu, you say Windows, New, UVM register viewer. Um, also, if you're using the Cadence UVM uh, library, and then uh, what you also may notice is that you have a UVM toolbar that was introduced in the 12.1 release. And a new, uh, a new item on the UVM drop-down menu is the UVM register viewer. So I'm just going to launch it from there. And so what you'll see in the UVM register viewer is all of your register blocks and maps presented to you on the left-hand side. And if I click on any one of these, you'll see the, uh, the various registers contained within a particular block all listed for you. And if I expand out any of those, you'll also see all of the individual fields within those registers. Now there's lots of information that's given to you here regarding the fields. So first you'll notice we have the field name. We also have the offset. In other words, the bit range. If it's a register, it's the offset within the reg map, uh, well, or sorry, the reg block. And then if it's a uh, field, then we have the offset, meaning the bit width of that particular field. So here we have an 8-bit register. We have the desired values, the, uh, the current value, the mirrored value. We also have the access policy, right? And hovering over the access policy, we'll list out exactly what that means. Uh, we also can um, navigate down in. We can change around the, uh, we also have a number of drop-down menus here. So for example, if we wanted to change the radix, which I tend to look at registers in hex values, I can switch over the uh, radix of all the um, values to hex if I want. And uh, for each of these registers as well, or for each of these fields, you, there's a right-click menu as well. So I can right-click and I can copy the path to this register. I can expand all or collapse all within the register. I can send this register out to various windows. I can even set a breakpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint on a value change within this particular register. Now you could say value change, desired, mirrored, or any of the calls to the built-in methods within the UVM reg package to operate on this register. So I'm just going to say break on a value change. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to uh, send a register out to the uh, waveform window. And to do that, all I need to do is just uh, highlight a register value. Or in this particular case, I'm going to actually highlight a, uh, a few individual um, uh, register fields and I'm going to click on send to waveform and all of these fields will now be sent out to the waveform and you could see the value and you'll see the full path enabled that it'll give you the the field as well as the value field within okay so that's how easy it is to set things to the waveform now I'm also going to uh, run a quick simulation now remember I set our breakpoint on a change on this particular register. So I'm going to run now. And notice that we've stopped. All right, we've stopped at time zero still. So somebody is programming this register. Um, if I want, I can send this register out now to a source browser. And this will open on that particular register definition. So class UALCRC. Right, I can explore around. I have full source annotations to all of the different uh, variables that might be of interest to me. If I want to see exactly who is setting this change, I just need to click on the execution point over here. And this will take me exactly to the line of code that is causing this particular value. And I can explore up from there if I want. And, uh, and I can identify exactly what's causing the particular problem. 
Now, additionally, inside this window, uh, we can filter based on regular expressions to uh, narrow down the list of registers if you had thousands of them. Or you can also, uh, you know, find things. So if I'm looking at CTRL or something like that, I can do a search within this particular register block hierarchy and I can find values of interest. So that's a quick introduction to the UVM register viewer. I hope you found this very useful.